We've been very impressed with the TCL 8 Series TV and its mini LED backlight over the past few months. We wanted to see if we could get better performance out of it without having to hire a professional calibrator like myself for hundreds of dollars. TCL has just released their IPQ automatic calibration app for iOS and Android phones, so we decided to install it on our review sample and put it through the test to see if it could improve the picture quality beyond what we already saw. Once you've installed the IPQ app on your iOS or Android phone, you can then install the channel on your TCL 8 Series TV. If you go to the channel and launch it, you'll notice that you can't do anything without the app on your phone. On our iPhone 7 Plus, we will launch the IPQ calibration app. Once it's launched, we can search for our TV, it will find our TCL 825, and when we connect to it, it'll automatically launch the IPQ mobile calibration app and display a test pattern on the TV screen. The TCL IPQ app uses your smartphone camera to take a series of images from 50% white to 100% white. Then it does the calibration and takes another series of images from 50% to 100% to compare the before and after results. After measurements, you get a results page with the DE2000 before and after scores, and then a details page showing the results from 50 to 100, and if it was more or less accurate than when you started. But we weren't sure if we could trust the results, so we took out Calman and our meters and measured it before and after to see. To verify the quality of the TCL IPQ calibration, we used Calman to take measurements of the TCL 8 series before and after the calibration was done. We measured the grayscale, gamma, saturations, luminances, and the color checker to see how before and after IPQ results compared. We also did a full manual SDR calibration to see how professional results would compare to just using the IPQ app yourself. Looking at the before calibration data, we see that the grayscale is slightly red and the gamma is closer to 2.3 than the 2.2 target we want, but overall these numbers are pretty decent for an out-of-the-box TV. Post-IPQ calibration, we see that our numbers are actually worse. The average error level has gone up, and the grayscale is now a little more reddish than it was before. The gamma has improved, but overall I would say that this is a worse overall image than it was at the start. After this IPQ calibration, we did a manual calibration using the Roku app on our iPhone to directly access the white balance controls that you can see here on the screen and the adjustments we made. We tried to keep everything at 10 or below, even though the maximum range is much higher, to prevent issues occurring inside of the color management system. Looking at our results after a manual calibration, we see that the grayscale is almost perfectly flat except for a little bit reddish at 100%. Since we also had access to doing the controls below 50% with the manual calibration, the gamma is improved and tracks 2.2 nearly perfectly, and the overall image is a big improvement over where we started with the TCL 8 series. So why did the IPQ app not work as well as we hoped it would? We have a few ideas, and we discussed those in our article that's linked in the description below. Overall, we think that people should be happy with the 8 series picture quality out of the box, and if they're looking to get the additional performance out of their TV, they should look to hire a professional calibrator instead of relying on the IPQ app. They will have no way of knowing if the IPQ app is actually improving their TV performance right now or if it's actually decreasing it as we saw in our testing.